If you Googled uh, what to pack for a cruise, that probably means you're going on a cruise soon. And let me be the first to say congratulations. We are on Adventure of the Seas right now in our room, and we thought we would go over some things to pack. That we found helpful for our cruise, and even some things that we forgot that you yeah. should bring. So here's some things, and uh, add this to your packing list. You know what I want to start with first is um, if you're going on a Royal Caribbean cruise, they're gonna give you this thing to print out. And this is so that they know where to put your bag. And they want you to staple it. And that's a joke. They want you to print it and staple it. Now, nobody wants to do that. So you can go on Amazon or whatever and get this little plastic holder. And that's the way to do it. Life changing for a cruise. It, yeah, it'll change your life, literally. Next, let's say um, a hair dryer. Now, there is probably gonna be a hair dryer in your room. But Look it sucks. This. Look at this. Look at my hair. You think that this <laughs> is going to do this for my hair? Wait, no. plug it in. Let's see how bad it is. This thing is so bad. This is on max. Minimum. It's not great. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So it will be in your room. You're allowed to bring your own, we should say. And I think that's where we messed up. I should we, have brought my Yeah, own. we messed up. Now, something that you also did is you brought your own bingo dabber. This was important because Brian had to spend $3 on his bingo dabber. Yeah, but let me say, mine says Royal, so that's kind of a cool souvenir now. But it's way smaller than my cool one that I got at a bingo hall in Columbia, South Carolina. So bring your own bingo dabber if you have one or if you want to purchase one at, probably at a dollar store before your cruise. Okay, next over here. So you're gonna probably get a lot of papers. We have a whole stack of papers over here. And so for anything important, uh, the walls are magnetic, right? So we brought these things and you can put your cruise <laughs> and you can put your cruise compass on there. And that's a cool thing. Next, the way, oh, they what? also come in hook form. So these are clips, right? But they yeah. also have magnetic hooks, which is important for the next item. Your hanging toiletry bag. This, yeah. This is so handy because the bathrooms only have so many shelves yeah. in it. Like I have. We this, each have mine, one. And there's not much counter space. We, our mirror does open up to have shelves, but. Yours they can only fit that. so much. I actually have additional toiletries in here and that toiletry bag that's hanging up. So I highly recommend that you get a hanging toiletry bag for your cruise. Okay, and while we're here, in mine, I have literally every type of motion sickness medicine. We have this, we have ginger, um, I have like ginger candy. I literally got everything. This is the best. This is um, just ginger. Mythbuster says that just ginger or um, Dramanine Dramamine. Is the best. But you know what? Dramamine makes me very, very drowsy, and I really like the ginger stuff. What's okay. next? So this is like a packing cube. So like what I did for this is like I put all my socks in here. So if you want to do like a really quick unpacking, I could just like dump all my socks in there, and then it's like I'm, I'm finished with this, and I can move on. But like what I've been doing is I just keep all the things organized in here, and I've just been like going out of here and whatever. Um, also, some of mine for like formal night, um, I've organized that so I know like what shirts and stuff I'm wearing. Speaking of formal night, packing clothes is so hard because you need uh, casual clothes for during the day, you need a swimsuit and like probably a new shirt, and then for, or you could have your dinner clothes which could be formal, so that's like three outfits a day. Plus your PJs. So. There's a lot of clothes you have to bring. Absolutely. I don't like that part about packing for a cruise. It's difficult. This is maybe an obvious one, but flip-flops for the pool deck. Yeah, I have brought so many. This isn't even all the pairs of shoes. I have two pairs of heels, two pairs of sandals, and there's even more in there. So I think it's important that, you know, it's not just the outfit changes, it's the shoe changes. Yeah, we're lucky. We have a really big walk-in closet. It's not normal, though. What okay. do you have? This, I love this one. This is, um, look how small this is, right? Wow, so easy to pack. <laughs> this is a collapsible hamper because you don't want just piles of dirty clothes. So like I put this in our closet and, and you put yours over here. 
Look at that. It's so nice and organized with all of my dirty clothes. It's not yeah. hanging around the cabin. It's not like in my suitcase. It's yeah. it's perfect. It's compact. It's easy to pack. Love it. it. So easy. This is one of my favorite things. Yes, I agree with that. Sunglasses. Even on board. On I'm talking about only for like the pool deck. Like Yeah. You really need these. You need it on your excursions. You need it. Yeah. Additional items that you may need on the pool deck or during sunny times. First of all, a good sunscreen. I really like the spray on ones because they're easy to put on, but I don't like when you get really sticky or really white from them. And this one is great for spraying on, easy, not white, goes right on. Something else you need for your pool deck. Super fun chair clips. These will hold your towel up, which also kind of helps you to save your seat at the pool deck. Next, we have a highlighter. You would never think of this, but why do you need it? There's so much to do on a cruise, and sometimes when you're planning out what you want to do, you want to highlight the things that are coming up. For instance, on our cruise, there were a bunch of different show times for the same shows, and we wanted to pick out exactly which dates and times we wanted to go. So we highlighted them, so that we would know. This is a 20 year old ship, so maybe this is doesn't apply to every ship, but we only have two plugs. And you're definitely gonna be charging more than two devices. Two at night. US plugs, we should say. Two US plugs. So what I have this thing, it's like a USB what what is this? Port. USB port. So I can plug all these different USB things in here and I can only use one plug. Uh, surge protectors. Surge protectors are not allowed. Correct. But here's another tip is one of the plugs is like uh, what European is, is a European plug and I have this thing and mm -hmm. it actually it go it uses like it's universal it can be anything but so I can use this European port now and plug in USB or I can plug in like a normal plug into there so that this just gives us an extra plug that we wouldn't have had before on the same line of electronics you want to keep your electronics nice and safe from being wet on your excursions. So getting one of these where you can keep your cell phone safe and dry is super important. It's a little necklace and you can wear it with your phone inside protected. Oh, you know what we almost forgot packing for this cruise is a beach bag. <gasps> yes. Because you really need this when you're going to the pool deck or on an excursion. You don't want to bring your whole backpack. No, and we brought it in different sizes actually. So we have our small one, which is more for like the pool deck where like towels are already up there. And then we have this big one for when we're going on shore excursions. So we can pack the towels, uh, maybe pack some water in there. Uh, it's super helpful to have so you can keep all your stuff organized and safe. With you. This one's just fun in case you're uh, in between activities for the day. I think it's always great to carry around a deck of cards. We haven't actually used it on this cruise yet and we probably won't. No, but... there's too much to do right now. But if you ever are in between activities and you find a nice quiet spot to, you know, sip on your favorite drink, it's always fun to play cards with friends and family. Okay, last thing. I think it's important for you to either pack a bathing suit or wear a bathing suit on board on your very first day because chances are that's when the pool and the hot tub and the water slides and the flow rider and all those cool things are going to be least busy. So you can get in first before anyone else on your very first yeah. embarkation day. Because your luggage won't arrive until like that night sometime. So if you bring it on board or you wear it on board, you can be ahead of the game. That's a wrap.